Started John Moody on a stand, gates open, they're off, and Georgia's 13th birthday. And one of the first away, all the drama going forward. She's the boss, and along the very inside, Celtic Boy is handy as well. And out in the centre of the track now, real thirsty, on a real mission to lead here, and we'll take it as they come down past us with a lap to go. El Bandito is fifth, followed out by Martini Lass. Going forward out a bit wider is Cardinal Sin as they work around that first bend. Then came the Arabian Duke from Liz Tal. Victory shall be mine tucked away over on the inside out deeper crack the good stuff from if i tell back about fifth last from troop road and cruzo the last two are gem runner and back with it also master poet into the back they go nearing the 1500 meters mark and cardinal sin took over and got away to lead by three lengths from real thirsty one and a half away third all the drama a similar margin back then to celtic boy fourth followed round by she's the boss as they string out over a vast amount of uh, real estate here. Back about midfield next was Martini Lash, just in advance of El Bandito. One and a half away, Liz Tower, hard held in the centre. Followed along the inside of those next by Victory Shall Be Mine. Uh, the Arabian Duke is out three wide. Followed further back by Crack the Good Stuff. Then came If I Tell Cruzo. Back fourth last from Troop Road and the last two still Gem Runner and Master Poet. Off the back they come inside the 800 metres mark and there's ten links first to last. Pacemaker is Cardinal Synod leads a half length clear from in second spot is Real Thirsty all the drama works round three wide out four wide the Arabian Duke then she's the boss who's travelling nicely just behind the leaders over on its inside next then was Celtic Boy as they pack up there's Troop Road off and around them very quickly now and then came If I Tell Jim Runner goes to the outside uh, with those as well then was Crack the Good Stuff then Cruzo El Bandito further back Master Poet and Victory Shall Be Mine they sprint for home at the 300 meters the leader all the drama from real thirsty coming after them she's the boss and behind these running on also then was celtic boy and out wider here running on liz towel they're right across the track but the action on the inside real thirsty and all the drama these are the two real thirsty it's a real game performance real thirsty beat all the drama third over was uh, she's the boss then came master poet victory shall be mine was storming home late close up and behind them celtic boy uh, then followed over by Martini Lass, then the, the Arabian Duke. Further back, Cruzo, Crack the Good Stuff, If I Tell, El Bandito, Liz Tal, Jim Runner, uh, Troop Road, and back with them also would have been Cardinal Sin. They were fanned out right across the track of the 150. But the action to look for hard up against the inside, that is definitely a place to be today. And Real Thirsty and Cameron Lammas was clearly headed by all the drama at the top of the home straight. But it's fought back again on the inside at the line. Real Thirsty from in second position, all the drama. Third over will be She's the Boss. And then photos for fourth. Gee, there's a lineup. Was that Master Poet and the Arabian Duke? Possibly for fourth and fifth. I went to the inside, real thirsty. Cameron Lammas for Glen Old and George's 13th birthday. Yeah, another shot at a 65 graded race after winning last time at Hawks Bay, and he backs it up too and just keeps on fighting and holding up that challenge from all the drama who had a really good shot at the horse up the straight, but real thirsty was able to find. And the 15 looks like uh, she's the boss will finish into that third position for Ralph Manning and also uh, Alicia Collett. Here's confirmation of the numbers. 2100. The winner is one, real thirsty. Second, 19, all the drama. Third, 15, she's the boss. Fourth, five, master poet. Fifth, seven, the Arabian Duke. And sixth.